Hello YouTube viewers. Today we got ourselves a small project. We got ourselves a poly mesh crawfish or crawdad bait bag. It was made out of something very simple. Uh, an orange bag. Just took the label off. Cleaned off all the sticky. Here's another section of it. I got three sections out of one bag. And uh You'd be amazed some of the cheap things that you can make professional grade equipment out of. Just a simple wire tie from a piece of electrical equipment. I believe it was a USB. I'm not entirely sure. And uh, some, some nylon uh, thread here. It's a fairly good grade. Nice color. Easy to spot. Didn't want a red one. I'd lose it in there. As you can see, it fits pretty good on that. Alright, it's just as simple as... Having it the other way around for starters, taking a clip, bundling it up, running it through a few times, turning it over, and just giving it a few twists and generally just mashing it down. Flip this thing back inside out so I don't have an ugly tail hanging off of it. And then when I sewed it, I just turned it over about that far, as you can see. And it's not really difficult. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is, I don't think the crawdads will care how perfect it is. <laughs> just turned it over about like so. And I took myself a needle. And I just went and went every single hole, all the way through, all the way back all the way through for about four stitches and then I went by every other to every third hole all the way around just folding it over until I got back to the beginning point point. and then to make it strong I put a bunch of stitches at the end because that's where most of the stress on the bag is going to be when you tie it off you don't want to tear these holes out so you know get as much grip as you can and then once you're done just tie it off just as simple as you can see it's a simple little sewing job. As you can see, mine's not perfect either. Simple overhand knot, and you're done. Get yourself a safety pin or a piece of coat hanger, make it into a clip or something. Just clip it off to the inside of your crawdad trap, and you can put a hot dog. I've heard dog food works really good. A piece of bacon. Uncooked works best. Cooked, I don't know, it doesn't seem to work as well. But yeah, and the cool thing about it is if you make it a little shorter by cutting it, you can actually attach it right to the end of your fishing pole, toss it out there. Once they grab onto it, they don't want to let go. There it is, that's mine. And then take it all the way up to the shoreline. You put a net out there and pick them up. You don't even need a crawdad trap, really. You kind of only need this. It'll take you quite a while with just a pole, though. I recommend making yourself one of these guys here. This is a mesh bag I learned how to make online. It's called a pillow trap crawfish setup. But yeah, it's real simple. Just got myself some hardware cloth down at the store. That's the, that's the, actually the expensive part. And I uh, went and got myself a canister of zip ties. Also ordered up some smaller ones. I think I got it done in about two hours. Those traps are usually quite expensive, but I think I got it for all about under seven bucks. And there's enough hardware cloth to make five. Yep, just look it up online like I did. Crawfish pillow trap. Alright YouTube visitors, have a nice day.